Hey everyone, today on the channel we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, we're going to be looking at the first and last Canadian game console. That's right, it's the Zappit Game Wave. Now, if you live outside of Canada, you've probably never seen one of these before. You may have if you're in the States, in, in the South. Uh, but if you're outside North America, you definitely haven't seen one of these before. Picked it up from a liquidation store and we're just going to dive right in. So as you can see, six people can play this. It actually came with four remotes out of the box and you could purchase a couple more if you really wanted to later. Taking around on the back side of the box here, you can see four of the games here. Uh, the pack-in title is at the top and games were mostly like trivia style stuff that you can play with the whole family with these DVD style remotes. So here on the back you get to see the console, what's included, cables, one game, four remotes. The box is a little rough here but uh, <laughs> beggars can't be choosers in 2022. Uh, this thing is very old and I cannot believe that I found a sealed copy at all. So opening the box here, we see things are actually very well packaged. First thing here's a little baggie with our cables. It is uh, your composite cable and an S-video cable along with a little warning and the instruction manual. telling you how to open and close the DVD tray. Very important. And we have our standard instruction manual, which just tells you what comes in the box, the couple buttons on it, how to navigate the menus, and a very useless troubleshooting section. All right, let's bring this thing out here. It's a very substantial feeling machine, pretty heavy, lots of metal parts. <laughs> And here's our pack and title. Four Degrees, The Arc of Trivia. Now I'm gonna keep this one sealed because I actually have an open copy of this already. And oh, it looks like our system upgrade disc, uh, the firmware upgrade, uh, came out of the little sleeve here. But that's going to be uh, important. That's the only way we can upgrade the firmware, as there's obviously no network connectivity. Let's put this box aside here and get to the meat and potatoes. So the Zappa Game Wave is actually in two pieces. You might not have been able to tell from the pictures, but it is the main console and detached from it is the controller holder. So as you can see, here's the four controllers it comes with, and it's in this nice big plastic holder that is, has that wave to it. Here we go, everything's nicely wrapped. Each, in, each controller is individually wrapped. Kind of a funky shape. A little, little tricky to open. <laughs> there we go. Now the, the, these controllers are really just glorified DVD remotes. As you can see, uh, the Zappa Game Wave does also play DVDs, so it has the necessary controls for that on it as well. Like I said, no, no high intensity games on this thing, it's just mostly uh, trivia stuff. Uh, it's things that you can play with an IR remote. And moving on to the console itself. Nice big guy here, it's pretty heavy. We got the power cord is actually quite well attached there. Power cord is not uh, not detachable, unfortunately. 
at least the composite and S video are detachable. Got some vents on the top, a little dusty there, and here she is. And there's the bottom, big metal plate there, lots of screws if you want to open it. It is uh, quite the chore to open one of these things. See the back, we just got composite, S video, and an expansion port, uh, which was never used. Uh, much like the um, Mattel Hyperscan, which had an expansion port that was never used. And that's my quick little unboxing of the Zapid Game Wave. Maybe uh, if you guys like this, I'll do a more in-depth video about the console. Thank you!